This video will explain dominant and recessive alleles. The video assumes that you have watched the genetics video on this playlist. Alright, so we know that all humans have two copies of each of our genes, one from mom and one from dad. If a person's mom has brown eyes and a person's dad has brown eyes, then they will inherit two brown eyed genes and that person will definitely have brown eyes. However, what eye color will a person have whose dad has brown eyes and mom has blue eyes? That child will have one gene for brown eyes and one gene for blue eyes. Genes do not blend together. These genes are inherited separately and one version of the gene will show up over the other in the pair. It turns out that some versions of a gene will cover up or mask the other in the pair when it is present. A gene that masks or covers up the other gene in the pair is called a dominant allele. A recessive allele is the one that gets masked or covered up when the dominant allele is present. In the example above, brown eyes are dominant and blue eyes are recessive. This means that the child will certainly have brown eyes because even though both genes are present, the brown gene is dominant so it will cover up the blue gene. A dominant allele is symbolized with a capital letter and a recessive allele is symbolized with a lowercase letter. With 20,000 human genes and only 26 letters, the choice of letter does not matter. Any letter can be used for any gene. Since all humans have two versions of each gene, the letters are always written in pairs. Remember that humans have over 20,000 pairs of genes that each must be considered separately. The arrangement of gene pairs a person has is called the genotype. There are three possible genotypes a person can have. If a person has two dominant alleles for a gene, it is called homozygous dominant. It is written with two capital letters. If a person has one dominant and one recessive allele, it is called heterozygous. It is written with one capital letter and one lowercase letter. If a person has two recessive alleles, it is called homozygous recessive. It is written with two lowercase letters. Finally, the way the gene appears on a person or is expressed is called the phenotype. Let's look at the example. There is a single gene that determines whether a person has attached or detached earlobes. A person can either have a phenotype for detached earlobes or attached earlobes. Detached earlobes are dominant to attached ones. If a person is homozygous dominant, they will have the dominant trait, which is detached earlobes. If a person receives a dominant gene from one parent and a recessive gene from the other, they are heterozygous. The dominant allele takes over and the person has the dominant phenotype, which is detached earlobes. Now, if a person receives a recessive allele from mom and a recessive allele from dad, they will have a homozygous recessive genotype. Since there is no dominant allele present, the person can have the recessive phenotype, which is attached earlobes. Let's look at one more example. A widow's peak is a point in the center of a person's hairline. A person can either have a widow's peak or not have a widow's peak. Having a widow's peak is dominant to not having one. If a person has a dominant genotype, they will clearly have the dominant phenotype of a widow's peak. If a person has a heterozygous genotype, the dominant gene will cover up the recessive one and the person will still have a widow's peak. Finally, if a person has two recessive alleles, they will not get covered up and can be expressed so the person will have a phenotype of no widow's peak. That's all for now. To learn more about how geneticists predict which phenotype a baby will get, watch the Punnett Squares video on this playlist.